Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yesterday we went to the Natural Products Expo show, which still continues today as through tomorrow, and see part of it. Michelle Obama would have been really happy to go ahead and see you there. Okay, or actually look for products. I mean, here's part of it. When it comes to natural products, it's not just about food. In fact, we were actually expecting to see more food. There was a, actually a lot of ingredients, processing, yes, and also beauty products. Beauty care, yes. Lots of beauty care. Quite a, quite a bit of that. It's been expanding a lot into that. Virtually market. no coffee. Oh, that's true. We didn't see hardly any coffee right. or tea. In fact, we actually saw fewer food products than we've seen in the past. Meanwhile, we're going to bring on Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. You see a tail. Just a tail. Just that's a tail it. wagging. It's a wag. It's a wag a tail. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're starting to get the idea, some of the smarter people, that the Republic, uh, that uh, Obama may be laying a trap for them. Like, uh, you know, the instant that basically, you know, that, well, uh, you know, we're, we're cutting back the tours, and, and then they started the campaign to get people to pay for the tours, which were 18000 a week, and they're now up to 74000 a week, and will cost $10 million to do. And Obama says, well, if they got so much money to do this, then they can help contribute to helping the country get better. And they, you know, so what, they're, they're looking at a 1% tax on everybody that contributes to the doing the thing, which means the contributions just automatically just stopped. Hmm. So, and Brennan takes oath on draft constitution without the Bill of Rights. Isn't that amazing? What, what, no, what is because this? Because okay, like Obama didn't want it. Didn't there's there's really no real photograph of Obama with his hand on the Bible. There's only the stage photographs that he has done, hmm. which means that uh, you, for all anybody knows that you know since it's a White House photographer and a closed thing, it could be a Quran he's put his hand on. Hmm. So. And Democrats to war the union with a large minimum pay raise because the economy is booming. Oh yeah, uh, I heard this morning we're talking about the only problem was, was like Obama and his is is fiddling around with the figures all the time. It seems that that they lost like seventy thousand jobs last month. Mm -hmm. Seventy thousand people were released. So and by his standards, well, if you added six two hundred and thirty six thousand. And you lost seventy-seven. You lost over seventy thousand jobs. These were high-paying jobs. They were replaced with service sector jobs. You actually had a, a lower than estimate that they were going to have, and it was impossible for the unemployment rate to go down by two tenths of a percent with seventy thousand jobs lost. And it's going to get worse this month. Google is shutting down people. Um, uh, some of the large department stores are cutting out their help. And uh, Walmart is now cutting back, and J.C. Penney's is cutting back 1,500 store management now. So, local warming, U.S. cities in front line as sea levels rise. Yeah, it, 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 Kate. The first of all, the sea levels rise and fall depending upon the century. They have been a lot higher, and they have been a lot lower. It's just okay. The, they're doing the thing today. Well, the doubters about global warming now know it's a, uh, it's a, it, it's for real. As it's in the sec, the last two winters have been atrocious, but it's all a result of global warming. It's just like um, Al Gore has basically given up on trying to sell his carbon credits because uh, there's no market for them. Because the it, as the weather gets colder, you know, it's really hard to say it's due to global warming. Mm. And Bloomberg's popularity slips amid opposition to soda ban. Oh God! And he's basically told he's going to ban ear pod, ear pods for people now. What? Because he said that uh, it, that people that use ear uh, ears those things end up being mentally deficient. They have uh, sex. They become sexual deviants. They become violent. Mm -hmm. So um, and then they they got a pitch. They I asked like that last night. They were showing prominent Democrats with their. Um, and with their ear pods, and all of them had brought, had been charged for, you know, uh, dr public drunkenness, drug use, and things like this. So, mm. and first lady not surprised by reaction to Oscars. No, no, actually. She, I mean, because no, we've been talking about no, this. No, but she's basically they keep asking her, and she well, I expected this to happen because of George Bush and the Republicans, and how conservative they force things to be. And I'm a black woman, and they don't like black women. Let's see. It was Republicans that were responsible for the Civil Rights Act. It was Republicans that were responsible for the 
for the freeing of the slaves. There were Republicans that gave them the Voting Rights Act. There were Republicans that did that. And it was white people that put Obama into office. So, but, uh, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna do the, beat this black thing into the ground, folks. And Obama presses Congress for a deal to end spending cuts. Well, they offered him a deal to end the spending cuts, but he wants, he wants increased revenue, which they said is never going to happen. He's not going to get... He's expecting the Republicans will give him money to spend without any reductions in spending, and, um, you know, and, and well, the Republicans don't, don't want you to know that you don't have the same, you know, deductions as the wealthy do. You absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have exactly the same deductions. Everyone in the country has the same deductions available to them. It's just that you get if you the more money you make, the bigger deduction you get because it's like okay, if you make a thousand dollars and you get a one percent deduction, say a guy made a million dollars and got a one percent deduction, it's the same deduction. You can take capital gains. You can take all of this stuff. And states' rights bills surge in GOP states. Yeah, because they're basically, Obamacare is, is dying on the vine because um, it, it is now, its cost, which she said wouldn't cost the taxpayers anything, is $1.9 trillion and growing every day. And they, they have to pay for it. There's, um, like I said, if you didn't pay for your health care before, you're going to pay for it now. If you didn't pay for your food stamps, you're going to pay for them now. All those things that you didn't have to pay for before, to fund Obamacare, you don't have to pay for. So the the minorities, as they start, remember, they're pissed off about his costing them those new cars and those things that they bought. Mm -hmm. And GOP seeks to smooth roughest cuts of shut shutdown. Well, yeah, all they did was do. Uh, they okay. It was first of all, it wasn't eighty five billion. It was forty four billion. It amounts to one tenth of one percent. And it's it's the Pentagon wastes more money than that every year. But what they're doing. It, they're simply cutting out things that Obama... Uh, you know, there's 50 redundant job training programs alone. 50. Mm -hmm. And they spent... You know how much money the redundant programs spend? What? More money than they cut from the budget. Mm -hmm. And North Korea says, the Korean War is back on. That's right. And the, and the Chinese officially notified Obama this morning that if, you, if your forces attack North Korea... We will have to respond in kind, which means Obama what? is about ready to start World War III. Wait, say that again? If we attack North Korea, the, the Chinese government will have to respond to the attacks. Where is the Chinese government in response to all of that? The Chinese government. Favors well, North Korea? They're favor yeah, they, they pay all North Korea's bills. And North Korea says that they now have, because of, because of uh, Barack Obama's interference in the running of their country, they now say they have the right to sell nuclear weapons to anyone they wish to in the world. And they they don't make nice little nuclear weapons, they make dirty little small things which basically we've blown up in the middle of our cities. Mm. And how budget cuts could affect you? They don't affect anybody. No one. This morning they just pointed out the fact that uh, the TSA is spending more money on uniforms than were cut from the budget. And Obama calls spending cuts dumb and arbitrary. Since he basically said six months ago that he would veto any action to stop the budget cuts, and since both the Senate and the House offered to give him the to give to make him the decider what a cut should be, they said he had nothing that he had no ground to stand on. But he is doing his charm effective. You know, they're trying to make the Republicans are going to be irreasonable. They are not going to raise taxes on their people, which this morning he backed off of entirely because. The, the press is basically, they know he's got, like he's a, they're sharks and he's got blood in the water and they're going after him. Because you can't say, you, you know, Harry Reid can't say that, well, we actually gave the, we voted to give the president the decision power over where these cuts should be and he uh, told us he would veto it. So. Mm. And Obama, if I were a judge, I'd strike down gay marriage bans. Well, the problem is it has you know, what it has to do with. Um, there's more to it. The, uh, civil unions means the businesses don't have to change their coverage policies. Marriage means that they have to change. That they one of the people said will run one and a half trillion dollars to change the policies if Obama gets his way and the Supreme Court basically tends to go the way of the money. Obama spending cuts not an apocalypse. The GOP should compromise. The compromise with Obama is you raise taxes and I will continue to spend. 
So it isn't apocalypse for him because they called his bluff and he had been, you know, he's still sending his people out plus the fact that his people, they really do not like him in the White House because they're sending all those things out to the Forest Service now. Continue to hammer on the fact that uh, that children are not going to be able to go to park places because the Republicans have forced draconian cuts on the Park Service, which didn't happen. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. The, you, okay. When you control all the data coming out about whether jobs have been created or not, you can always guess if you're following the rating, jobs have been created. Mm -hmm.